everybody. Welcome to this episode of Prospect Gallery of Homes. I'm your host, Steve Irwin. This is Season 2, Episode 10. Today, we have a client, Robert. How are you doing, Steve? Thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you. And so, um, you're, we listed your home in the ranch in Prescott, um, and we're building you a new home. Correct. Your house is being built. Uh, so, tell us a little bit about you, first of all. you first responder. Well, I was, I was, I'm a retired first responder. Okay. Uh, I, this was a, quite a few years back, but okay. now I work in sales and I do travel the country on a, on a very busy schedule. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we were just in such a large house. It was time to downsize. Um, I take care of my mom mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's just me and my wife. We no longer need it. 4,000 square feet. It wow. just wasn't. On two levels. On two levels. So. Uh, so we've decided to make the change and make the move. And lo and behold, uh, through your advice, we say, hey, it's time to list. Oh, COVID that's right. I hits. remember that. You, there COVID was, hits three days there, later. Yeah, there was there was a discussion about should we wait until next year or something. Should we wait till next year? Yeah. And so I was concerned that we were not going to be able to. Um, to achieve our sales with the COVID coming out and a lot of the buyers from California or back east or mm -hmm. even coming in from China because right. this was a, a high-end house that right. was going to going to uh, demand a, a higher price than your than your medium family sure. home within Prescott. Uh, but fortunately, you made me feel reassured right. that we can get it listed and we can get it sold. Right. And this is when you introduced me to Sunshine. Right. And. Uh, she came over with her video equipment, and uh, I, I I don't know was it did you have the drone too? Sunshine? I had a drone. Okay, yeah. I, I saw the drone footage, yeah. which yeah. was very awesome, and uh, you came over and did a full photo photo shoot for us, which really elevated us up onto our positioning on the web. I think we were getting a lot of hits, and it certainly wasn't uh, due to. Um, Anything that I mean, the write-up was great, Steve. <laughs> Trust me, the write-up was great. Uh, not saying anything against that, but I know Sunshine's photos uh, were the key to get that in front of people and have them remember what well, they were and, looking and at. And actually, uh, Scott and I both listed it, and yeah. I had a yes. Uh, Sorry, good, Scott, good, I didn't mean to leave you out of this. Big part in marketing. So before uh, Sunshine talked about photos and videos and things. What did you have to do to prepare your house? I mean, it is a big house. Well, you know, um, I talked a little bit with you guys about some of the preparation, and then Sunshine gave me a call and also uh, mentioned some of the things we should do. So most importantly, I think the key features are get rid of your personal photos up right. on the wall, uh, get rid of extensive amounts of artwork so mm -hmm. that people can see the home, not just all of the items yeah, they'll that you fall in have. love with your artwork but not right. the house and they don't remember the house so right. we did uh, a pretty good effort of getting things put away and taken down uh, we may have probably needed to do a little bit more but that's just as far just as smiling. you can go <laughs> just as far as you can go at some you know? point you have to call it at <laughs> some point you have to call yeah. it uh, so but we did that and of course you know our house was uh, is always what you know maintained very nicely so yeah. it wasn't a lot of preparation yeah. as as you know, other people's houses could be, right. especially when you got kids and so on and so forth, it is a process to get that house clean, ready for the photos, and then keep it that way for the showings. Well, and big job. One of the things that we always we rec recommend this to everyone, if you have firearms, secure them. If you have uh, medicine, narcotics, you know, that type of thing out of sight. And the other thing is jewelry. jewelry, right? We go through a lot of homes and I can't tell you, people love expensive jewelry. And when you're showing a home, you're supposed to not let the buyers wander off. And they do sometimes, right. uh, yeah. but just to be safe, we ask people to secure the valuables too. Right. You know? Yeah, so I we didn't have any issues with the showings. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the clientele that we had coming through Prescott uh, were were all great. Everybody was very respectful of the property. Sure, um, it, it was very it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that the the showings are for anybody that's getting ready to sell. Be ready for that phone call or that text on the phone. And your house has to be ready to go. Your house has to be ready to go. So it was easy for us, right. uh, being you know no no kids in the house. Uh, for for families, I'll tell you, selling the house, 
Could people will, it's very difficult, <laughs> I can imagine. I can only imagine. Well, Julie had a thing to do with that. Oh, of course, yeah. My, my wife wants so to make sure the house is uh, impeccable. Yes. Uh, it comes from uh, many years of her being a librarian, mm -hmm. uh, as well as us owning a, uh, a Victorian bed and breakfast for about 10 years. So oh, no, I did not know that. She was on our housekeeping staff yeah. uh, continuously for the white the, the white, white glove, glove yeah. outfit and you know i'm i'm not like that but uh, definitely my wife likes to keep things in order and and i i don't mind it yeah it's the so way. uh so sunshine tell us about your your process because uh, he said you called yeah i did not know that uh so that's that's good to know yeah well i mean i think it, it is important to depersonalize and declutter and try and make it an open space because right. you're trying not to sell your home, but the potential home of, of the buyer. So you want to kind of make it look like that bed and breakfast. You right. don't want to make it look like someone's coming to visit your home and check out all the photos and, uh, you know, see what kind of food you have sitting on the counter <laughs> and the, your dishes or whatever. So <laughs> 54 things magnetized to the yeah. refrigerator. And I know. Yeah. And so it definitely <laughs> helps to have the house ready uh, for when I show up mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and then things go smooth. So we can just take photos and not worry about trying to fix up. Well, the house. we were still, <laughs> even when you were there, <clears throat> we were still shuffling things mm -hmm. to get the best shot we could. There's always. There's always something that needs right. to be moved. It's right. never perfect, you right. know, so you do the best you can, but yeah. So, so the drones, the uh, photos, what size do you do? Or the, those high, high def, HDR, I and mean, there's a, a lot of different formats. Oh, what size? Um, well, you try and shoot in the largest quality that you can so right. that the photos can be blown up, but typically you don't need a a huge quality for being on the internet, which right. is what you, people usually view the photos. Um, well, and yeah, I do so. know that Zillow wants to see at least 25 photos and a video. Um, oh, mm -hmm. and, and that rate makes your property rise at the top of the Zillow list. Mm -hmm. And of course, everyone knows Zillow's the number one real estate website right now. So, um, but, uh, so tell us a little bit more. So you, you arrive at the house, yeah, so I arrive at the house and uh, we just want to turn on all the lights and open up all the window blinds so you can see those amazing views. And um, what I do is a type of photography called HDR photography, um, high dynamic range imaging, which whatever the name is just, <laughs> you'll never that's remember that's the that's name. That's 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 um, impressive. <laughs> but basically when you're trying to take a photo inside, either you can see through the window, but mm. then the room's all dark or the room's really bright, but then the windows get all washed out. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is take a series of photos from mm -hmm. being able to see through the window all the way to having the room be really bright mm -hmm. and changing the exposure for each photo. And then I take those home and use a computer software to overlay them all on top of each other. And then that way you see through the windows, the room's really bright, well, just uh, brings like, out the, uh, the You see Architectural colors. Digest where right, right. You're, you're looking at this and everything is in focus and bright mm -hmm. and, and, that's, and vibrant that, and vibrant. Yeah. yeah and uh and and you did that you do a good job doing well, that well thank you and, thank and you and then very the video much. the drone the aerial shots yeah and then of course it, it helps to have a drone <laughs> that's always a nice way to view the home because you can you can take have a view of the home that people don't normally see don't, don't <laughs> right. normally get. and of course this was a beautiful home so it was it was really fun to and and yeah. i think i think we sold your home quicker than normal because i remember looking in that price range in the ranch uh, things sometimes if it's a super great deal it sells quick but right. a lot of them are six months to a year right and right. so I, I thought we got your house moved on pretty quick well you know the whole process for me went relatively easy and i know that it doesn't go for all people that are listing homes mm -hmm. uh, one thing i would say for anybody that's thinking of listing a home uh, with you guys mm -hmm. is when um, your home is your personal belongings and your personal life and it often feels strange to have people tell you to change things in right, your right. personal life. 
Um, when you hire professionals like, like you guys as my realtors and, and uh, Sunny here for the, all the beautiful uh, photography and, uh, and the drones and all that, all that stuff, you have to take the advice of the professionals coming yep. in and put aside your feelings. If not, you'll end up being kind of hurt right. by what the professionals are gonna tell you because they know what to do and this is what you need to rely right. on. And, and I think this is why it went so well for us is that every time you asked us to make a change, I mean, everything except for getting rid of the baby grand piano at the entryway, <laughs> right. uh, everything else was bing, bang, boom, <laughs> out it went. I mean, I did get comments about the piano, but there's nothing I could do right. with that. I mean, I, you know. Well, but and when we is. did the broker open house, we yeah. had uh, quite a few realtors come through. Right. They did their comments. They commented on the uh, list price and, and everything, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and those were all professional comments. Right. I mean, yeah. there was nothing uh, weird or, or um, any nonsense. Um, they did make good comments, and we followed most of them. And, so. and, you know, that's an important thing, I think, that anybody that's going to sell is to accept that uh accept the changes that need to be made mm -hmm. as you have a, a goal right that you're trying to reach um, the other thing that i found about selling a house that was very uh, i was aware of this because i work in sales mm -hmm. and so i don't have the feeling of disappointment every time someone comes to look at the house and i didn't get a sale or a feedback oh yeah so yeah. my wife felt a little bit different about that yeah. i just wish yes. we knew <laughs> What they thought. What they thought. Yeah. And right. I, to me, I think the volume of showings mm -hmm. is by far outweighs any comments that anybody could say. Sure. Because most people aren't going to say necessarily nice things unless right. they're ready to buy it. Right. If Absolutely. they're not going to buy it, they're looking for things to pick apart. So right. I don't really want to hear that. But just keep those showings going, and that's what you guys did right. by putting that package together right. the way that you did with, with everybody with all the marketing all the all marketing it. and the whole thing and it made the process easy and and so we um got a couple of offers you accepted one that right. you liked the best uh we went through the home inspection so that's done the um and, and you you now have a house that you're moving that you're building with being built uh literally half the size half the size so so the downsizing yes. process is something too that's it's always difficult it's for hard. everybody so I'm trying not to tell anybody to get rid of anything because right. I don't want to be told to get rid of stuff myself I'm just trying to maybe make lead by example and well where's the, pia where's the <laughs> yes, piano going to yes. go yeah. <laughs> the piano is going to go into the dining room yeah. it looks like <laughs> we won't have a dining room table but we'll have our baby grand piano <laughs> Uh, no, we have a lot of our stuff. This is what this is exactly what I was mentioning. A lot of our stuff is family heirlooms or right. family pieces that necessarily wouldn't fit into someone else's. My sure. my wife is very much like a, um, a a girl from the 1880s. She's a Victorian mm -hmm. girl that right. loves all of those antiques. Mm. I kind of call them the Liberace look, but, right, right. or it's grandma's house, if you want right. to say, and she is grandma now, right. Right. so it's okay, but she's been grandma ever since she was a young lady when yeah. it comes to her styles. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I just say that everybody to each their own, and, uh, and don't be offended when someone says, ah, put that away. Uh, uh, but you know, it's nice when you get that contract and you're in escrow, you you fly by the uh, inspection period that's yes. behind us. The appraisal's done. Uh, we're kind of at that point where we're just waiting to close. Waiting to close. Yeah. To to say there isn't a lot of ups and downs right. during that cycle would be a very uh, <laughs> would be through. very uh, untrue. There yeah. is a lot of ups and downs. There's right. a lot of. I mean, I heard I heard Julie say uh, more than once. That's it. <laughs> Deal's done. We're it's done. all falling apart. We're, we're moving on. And we're moving on. And I said, you know, let's just work through whatever yeah. small yeah. obstacles appear. Right. And, you know, if you knock them down one by one in a timely manner, everything falls into place. That's right. But uh, you have to not be discouraged uh, because I always say this, uh, and this is just one of my philosophies, if, if it was easy, everybody would do it. It's everybody just, would do it. That's right. And during a lot of the time, we were dealing with the COVID-19 issue. Yes. Right. So that was kind of a delay in our... Uh, you know, a lot of clients, yes. uh, you know, our 
our feeder markets is Phoenix, Tucson, Southern California. That's where we see uh, most of our buyers. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are, those places are hit hard. Yes. Uh, sure. Yeah, Pike County has a very low, less than 3% positive test rate. Uh, so that's why you don't see a lot of precautions. But right. I was just in San Diego last week uh, for a week and all the restaurants were open, but it was all carry out. No, right. no. We went to the beach, uh, imagine going to uh, uh, Seal Cove or La Jolla and, and having the beach to yourself. Yes. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So, uh, but we had a good time. So, uh, where are you at on your on your new home? We so picked, we on picked the, the house. On the new home now, we're just a, a week or so away from everything coming to the final final finish. There doesn't there there are no uh, loose ends left on our side as the sellers, and the buyers I believe have completed everything on their side. So now it's just a matter of uh, of this escrow you know the escrow going through you know the the title company right. the, all of that stuff taking place. Uh, which is what they do. Right. And I think everything will just continue on as it has been. I, I'm looking forward to the move. Uh, we, of course, are in a, um, a, a rental now because our new home is being built. Right. So that's you're, a little bit of an issue. You're eight, nine months away <laughs> yes. from that. Right. And so. Try to find a rental <laughs> in this market. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone that is looking for one will exactly know what I'm talking about. They do. It is a tough market. It, it's a tough market. Uh, so when when we got your house sold, we went. We, we know you went to Walden Farms. Mm -hmm. So we went over to the sales office to represent you as, as your buyer's agent now. Right. And tell us a little bit about that process. Well, that went really easy for me. Uh, you know, uh, any of the agents would prefer to work with another agent. Right. Uh, I'll be honest. I know my uh, my trade and my industry, mm -hmm. and uh, I I give people a lot of advice that they that they do take in that industry, but I don't know anything about the real estate. So right. I, it was very beneficial to have you on board. Mm -hmm. This way, all of the timelines could be met through through Dorn's requirements. Right. You guys knew all of the right answers right. to keep my uh, sales associate. Yeah. With the paperwork flowing, and that was really a key. I didn't. I really helped me out considerably. Well, yeah. and, and uh, you're on autumn lease is where we're building. Uh, it has a spectacular view yes. of the Dells. Beautiful. It's like a 180 yes. degree view. Yes, it's wonderful. Uh, and that view would never be blocked because they can't build behind right. there. Right. And so that's a great benefit. You know, I was looking at that file yesterday. We're at 2,500 sheets of paper. In that file, yeah, I, a bit. I, I mean, you were signing for a while. I know. <laughs> yeah, you get writer's cramp. You know? right. I tell you, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, we've been here in Arizona for ten years. Mm -hmm. we're, we're also transplants from from Northern California. We came here to take care of our our two moms, right? Mm -hmm. Who were both uh, their husbands had had passed, and mm -hmm. they needed they needed some assistance. Um, I've in my ten years of being in the Prescott area. I will tell you that as, many, as much travel as I do across the country and across the U.S. and through Canada, this is the cat's meow when it comes to the place to live. You, you know, mountain uh, biking, yeah, right. the hiking, the camping, mm -hmm. the off-roading. Need I say shooting of guns? Yeah. <laughs> Arizona is the it's state. The one place. That plus Prescott, right? yeah. Plus I Prescott, mean, yeah. Because we're ranked number one or two for retirees. We're, 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 we're yeah. We just came out in another study. I think we're three on the list three. for okay. retirees. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, Prescott is probably the ideal place to live because yes. of the way the mountain ranges are in Flagstaff and in Southern uh, Arizona. We're protected by all the storefronts that you see coming mm -hmm. through the nation. Right. 285 sunny days a year here, uh, moderate four four real seasons to four, enjoy. And four mild seasons. Four mild yeah. seasons. Um, the uh, all the all the things that people look for. Uh, I was driving around San Diego and I a lot of homeless, a lot of vagrants, uh, high unemployment. That's just not here. No. Uh, you drive around. There, there's no graffiti. Crime is virtually is virtutually nothing. nothing. Um, 
So it, it, it's a safe place. We have plenty of hospitals and doctors. And, and the brand new uh, Barrows, I guess, is being, is, being is built coming up town, here right so from the hospital. Even more uh, to meet well, the needs as, as the years speed yeah. by for all of us. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of hiking and off-roading, but there'll be a time when I'm thinking of great medical procedures and <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes. good checkups and great care. That's Plus why we surgery. went to Pesky. <laughs> well, you know, uh, ever since Trader Joe's come to town, oh, right, right. Right. <laughs> I remember for 10 years they kept hearing these rumors that we're getting one. Yes, yes. Uh, but now we have all that. We have Five Guys, hamburgers, oh, yeah. and, and yeah. all the things that... Uh, big cities have, but we're still a small town. Absolutely. You know, and that's, that's the nice thing about it. And we're only an hour and a half from the big city. Yeah, you're uh, nice. about 90 minutes from, well, yeah. you fly out Sky Harbor. How, what's it take to get there? It takes me about an hour and 20 to, right. to get down yeah. there. So it's very easy. It's it's an easy way. I've, um, I haven't been flying out of Prescott, but I do have some accounts out of uh, Colorado, so mm -hmm. I might be taking some easy trips out of Denver. It's better than driving down to the city to fly out. Yeah, they have direct daily service. Daily now. service to Denver, yeah. Oh, so, and to Los Angeles, too. And to Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. L.A. Right. Yeah. And so, um, kind of back to Sunshine a little bit, I asked you earlier before we started filming, what's the most interesting house? <laughs> and, and I don't think you told me. So what, um, the most interesting, <laughs> that is, you know, I guess I can't even really answer that question. <laughs> I mean, of course, you have to ask the hard one. That's um, right. Interesting. Oh, I don't. I just don't even know. There's been so right. many, so many different types of houses, from ones where I mean, maybe you you did a great job of cleaning your home, but ones where you're like, whoa, I should have brought the hand sanitizer right. to, oh my goodness, I want a heated pool in my backyard, you know? <laughs> um, you know, speakeasy, hidden rooms, and oh my gosh, you know, I, I, <laughs> all sorts I, we, of... We've yeah. had houses with hidden rooms. Oh, I can yeah. imagine, I can and imagine. My <laughs> most interesting house was up on Brenda, off of Williamson Valley. It had a red urinal mm. and a master bath. Mm. And uh, I'm like, yeah, that's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the guest bathroom had a teal one, so that right. was uh, interesting also. <laughs> but We've always enjoyed um, uh, staying at and, and, and or looking at historic properties. And uh, uh, we went to purchase a house, uh, I don't know, about uh, 15 years ago or so. Uh, and it was up in Northern California, and it was a uh, three-bedroom, two-bath. Mm -hmm. uh, but the second bath was actually on a toilet on the back porch. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where it was an open railing, so uh, you could right. look around to your neighbors yeah. while you used your restroom. It was That's quite unique. interesting. But you never can tell what you're going to find with yeah. these old right. homes. That's right. Uh, That's they're, right. they're always the most interesting. Uh, yep. That's for sure. Absolutely. So, uh, anything else? Um, <laughs> anything else? I don't know. I just, it was. So Sunshine, are you, are you freelance? Is that how you work? Or I am. Are you, okay. Yep. Yep. It's my own business. So I just, I work <laughs> with some great real estate agents right. around town. Yeah. And when they have a home that needs to be listed, they call me up and, and we figure it out from there. So, so. And, and your company's Mile High Photography. Mm -hmm. Mile High Photos. Mile High yep. Photos. And primarily real estate or do you do yeah. others? I really just do real estate. No weddings. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no wedding. I don't really right. know how to photograph people. <laughs> they move too much. And right, right. <laughs> houses stand still. Right. And, you yeah. know, just make it just right. So. Well, yeah. and, um, I know that when when all the pieces come together, yeah, great because you did the video, mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing because I got a lot of clients that call me they say hey will you go look at this house i'm coming to town next week will you preview it you go there and the house looks nothing like the photos right. you know and it's like how embarrassing and yes you know it's sad though because it, it hurts the seller the seller thinks hey i'm getting some really good marketing i'm getting a lot of activity but people come here and i'm getting bad comments uh because the photos are misleading and, and I think the when we of, try the best we can to show everything in the best light right, that you can, right. and 
sometimes maybe it's going to look a little bit different, I yeah. guess, when you get there. But I guess, you know, it does help to have the walkthrough video. It does. Um, where you're talking about selling your home during the COVID times. Very and difficult. This way people can take a look at the walkthrough video, really get a good idea mm -hmm. of what the house looks like before they make the decision to come <coughs> see the home. Or if you're selling the home to people in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've I've actually had a couple people tell me that they sold the home sight unseen yeah. because of some yeah. of the photos and videos that we've done. So I think it really helps it make a big difference. Absolutely so. it does. I know mm -hmm. that the, the buyers that are uh, acquiring my, our property right now that this process is in, I, uh, when I talked to them, as we ended up meeting them as mm -hmm. they came up during an inspection process and they did go through the 3D virtual videos a lot because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So right. it, not only them, I'm sure many people would prefer to do that nowadays mm -hmm. it really does allow them to it's almost like uh, you pretty well kind of made up your mind almost before you've even been to the property they if do. the 3d sure. video is right yeah. if the if everything looks like it's supposed to when you get there and usually you know most people it does i think it was the key yeah, they're, they're, and, they're, and they're confirming getting, what they see in the pictures right. and the videos. Yeah. The 3D yeah. video and all of the photos that you did, Sunshine, was the key to getting this sold during COVID. Absolutely. I just wasn't going to have the foot traffic right. that, yeah. yes. that I needed to rely on. I needed the, I needed the web traffic in okay. order for this to be... And, and, and you guys right. knew that. Right. And that's yeah. why you, you brought Sunshine in for, yeah. for this Absolutely. Video. So, uh, hey, hey, you, we just actually sold that house in Talking Rock. Sight, oh. a, sight unseen. Oh, okay. So, oh, the, co the contract you yeah, just got that you're an escrow with. Yes, yes. So, oh, uh, was it one, so, of your, one of your videos, I hope? Um, well, we're not the sure. listing agent. Yeah, we're not oh, oh, okay. So, sure. I don't know if you would have done it or not, but right. it, was, it was a very well done uh, mm -hmm. flyer and, and video. And talk about it. It's kind of like the ranch. It's kind of a pricey area, too. Yes, it is. Exactly. You yes. know, I mean, nice. Nice area. Yeah. Right. The, um, the, the issue with Talking Rock, it is kind of further out there. Yes. You know, it's literally... I don't know, 20, 25 miles? 25 like minutes, yeah. So, so it takes a little while to get there. Yes, a couple, couple coming from Wisconsin. So, wow. Yeah. So wow. not California, amazingly. So, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're coming. I deal, <laughs> with a, I deal with a lot of clients up in New England. Mm -hmm. uh, that yeah. whole uh, Northeast is a lot of the people that if they can retire, they mm -hmm. want to get out of there. Absolutely. Right? They're just uh, fed up with uh, with the overcrowded, and then when you combine mm -hmm. COVID on top of an overcrowded situation, right. it just seems to be boiling over everywhere. Well, and the benefit of living in a, a major metropolitan area is gone during the COVID time. Right. You know, you're not going to be able to walk down to a local grocery store or bar or, right. or a restaurant or something. Uh, so it's better if, if you can work from home or... We used to call it tele, telecommuting. Okay. I don't yeah. know what they call it now, but uh, I actually started that like 10 years ago uh, <laughs> right. for a company I work for. So, uh, all right. Well, hey, well, thanks yeah. for coming. I think it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thanks for coming on the nice show. Awesome. I, I appreciate, yeah. it. appreciate it. Thank and, you very uh, much. Robert, thank you, gentlemen. Scott, good thank seeing you, you again. You. Sunshine. Yeah. It's always Sunshine, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Your thank you so photos yeah. were exceptional. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank well, uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we always want to give thanks to our first responders. And Robert's a Robert. former first responder. He's uh, a little old for it now, but right, uh, right. in my younger <laughs> days, I got it done. Well, I, hey, you know, those fire, firemen, those guys are they're Johnny Hustle. So yeah. they're, they're hard workers. So. Uh, we want to thank them and thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.